Before you use your high lift jack, here are some important considerations. The high lift jack is not self lubricating. It will not operate safely without proper lubrication. Before you use your high lift jack, lubricate the jack using white lithium grease, light penetrating oil, or a silicon or Teflon spray. Watch the video section on lubrication which shows the places where lube should be applied. Always place the handle against the steel standard which is the vertical upright bar with the handle clip holding it up before okay. moving the reversing latch. This will prevent the handle from moving up and down rapidly, which could cause serious injury or death if it comes into contact with any part of your body. Always keep your head out of the travel path of the handle. During lowering, the weight of the load pushes up against the jack's handle. If your hands slip off the handle, or if the handle is horizontal when you move the reversing latch, it may move up quickly. If your head is in the handle's travel path, it could strike you. Jacking involves heavy loads which can create dangerous situations. Always follow these rules to assure safe and effective operation. Chalk and block the vehicle to prevent it from falling or moving. Make sure the load cannot slip, roll, or fall. Never go beneath a raised vehicle supported with just a jack. Use a jack stand or blocks if you need to work under the vehicle. Never push a raised vehicle off the jack. Make sure everyone is clear of the load before lowering. Keep in mind that conditions on the trail can be very difficult, requiring you to work on inclined and side slopes, loose and soft surfaces, and possibly in inclement weather conditions. Practice using the high lift jack at home or some spot where you can familiarize yourself with its operation in an easy situation and environment. This will save you time on the trail and minimize the chance of problems. The high lift jack is designed to work on rigid flat jacking points like a rub rail flat bottom bumper or a bull bar style bumper with notches designed for use with a high lift jack. Do not use this jack on curved or tubular vehicle now. bumpers. The vehicle could slip off the jack and fall, causing serious injury or death. Use the bumper lift attachment to lift most vehicles with curved or slotted bumpers. Do not raise an inflated tire more than two inches above the ground. Never attempt to lift more than one wheel at a time. The working load of each chain or toe strap must be greater than the strength of the high lift jack. If a chain or toe strap breaks while winching, the load could shift or the chain or toe strap could snap back. When used as a winch, the top clamp will support up to 5,000 pounds. If you go over this limit, the top clamp could break or bend, causing the load to shift or the chain or toe strap to snap back. If that occurs, it could result in damage or injury. The clamping force of the standard high lift jack is 750 pounds. If you exceed this limit, the top clamp could bend or break. The high lift extreme jack will clamp, winch, or spread up to 5,000 pounds. Do not use the jack to support a vehicle. Securely chalk and block the vehicle to be lifted. Never get under a raised load without properly chalking and supporting the load. If a raised load falls, it can cause serious injury or death.